Hi everyone, now we're going to discuss question 20b given that our function is a piecewise function so the first step is we draw the interval to illustrate the function where negative 2 until negative 1 is the function of p5 minus px negative 1 until 2 is x squared plus px plus q and then the interval x more than 2 is x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 for the first question find the value p and q where fx is continuous for all real value of x when it said the function is continuous means at the point of x negative 1, the limit from left hand side must be equal to the right hand side so that function can continuous. And another point will be x equals to 2. Because we can see at x negative 1, we have changes of function. Same with at the point x equals to 2, we also have changes of function. So now we are going to find the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left hand side. 5 minus px is selected. Must equal to the limit for x approaches negative 1 from the right hand side, which is the function x squared plus px plus q. And it must equal to the point of negative 1 when point equals to negative 1 it is occurred in this function so it will equals to f negative 1 equals to this limit then we calculate our limit substitute x equals to negative 1 we will get 5 plus p here we will get 1 negative p plus q we simplify this equation, we get p minus q equals to negative 4, which is our first equation. Then for point x equals to 2 here, we are going to find its limit. Limit at x approach limit 2 from the left hand side is equal to x squared plus px plus q. And limit approaches 2 from the right hand side is the function of x square minus 4 over x minus 2 and the point of 2 is occurring in this function so for this limit we have to equal to the point f2 now we're going to simplify our limit substitute x equals to 2 we will get 4 plus 2p plus q but for this part we will get idf because 0 over 0 Therefore, we need to simplify the function before we perform the limit calculation. So, x squared minus 4 can be factorized to become x plus 2, x minus 2. The factor of x minus 2 can be simplified. Finally, we get 4 plus 2p plus q and substitute x equals to 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, the equation here, 2p plus q equals to 0. Solve the simultaneous equation here by using 1 plus 2 so that the value of q can be eliminated. We get 4p equals to negative 4, p equals to negative 1. Then we substitute back into 1. You'll get negative 2, negative q equals to negative 4, q equals to 2. So now we see how we're going to score these 6 marks. First, our concept must be correct, where x approaches 1 from the left hand side must be equals to limit, where x approaches 1 from the right hand side. And we get this equation. Continue for the point as equals to 2. And we come to this equation. Finally, we simplify our equation 
and our answer p equals to negative 1 q equals to 2 now we're going to part 2 sketch the graph of this function by using the value of p and q obtained by part 1 so we now we're going to draw these pieces of the graph so for the first piece where 5 plus x the starting point here x equals to negative 2 so the coordinate will become 3 and the ending point here is x equals to negative 1 so the coordinate here will become 5 minus 1 4 so this is the linear graph then we continue for the second piece which is the quadratic 1 equals to x squared minus x plus 2 where the starting point here is x equals to negative 1 so the quadratic y equation, so the y coordinate will become 4. And ending point of this interval is x equals to 2. Therefore, the y coordinate for this quadratic when x equals to 2 is equals to 4. Then, completing the square for this quadratic so that we can draw the shape correctly. So y will equals to x square. Then negative 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2 squared plus 2. So we can see our quadratic clearly now. Where our minimum point occur at x equals to 1 over 2, y equals to 7 over 4. And then for the third piece of the graph, which is y equals to x squared minus 4, where we can factorize it. And we simplify. So actually this graph is y equals to x plus 2, when its starting point will be x equals to 2, the coordinate y substitute will become 4. So now we are going to draw our graph here for these three pieces. Starting from negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2, and then 1, 2. Starting from negative 2, which is equal 3. So 1, 2, 3. So this point will be included. And ending point for this piece of the function will be x equals to negative 1, y equals to 4. So coordinate 4 will be at here. So negative 1, 4. So to join these two points, this is a linear graph. So the shape using here will be straight line. So we finished the first piece. So now we're going to draw the second piece of the graph where x negative 1, y is equal to 4. So coincident, they are dropping at the same point. Then the ending point for this piece will be x equals to 2 and the coordinate y equals to 4 here. So this is a quadratic. So the shape will be smiley face. And the minimum occur at x equals to 1 over 2 and y equals to 7 over 4. When x equals to 1 over 2 here, so 7 over 4 is more than the value of 1. So the minimum point is here, 7 over 4. So we have to draw our quadratic. Then we continue for the third piece of the graph, which is a linear graph. When x equals to 2, y is equals to 4. So coincident, they are dropping at the same point. So this is a linear graph where the gradient is positive. So the graph will be going upwards. And notice that this is 5 plus x. So also linear graph, their gradient should be same to 1. So finally, label our graph fx, label the origin 0, then x axis, y axis, and all these points. 
So that's all.